Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a firewall using UFW or Unique Firewall on Ubuntu 15.04. So I'm going to begin by going ahead and SSHing into the uh, into the server. And the first thing we're going to need to do is sudo apt-get install UFW, a complicated firewall. And that's going to go ahead and install. Um, ours is already installed here. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and check the status of it. And we can do that by typing in sudo UFW status we see that currently it is inactive. So first of all, we're going to go and add a rule using um, a name. These are like the pre-built ones. So we can add a rule for SSH, for instance. And we can do this by typing u sudo ufw allow ssh. And that will allow a, um, a rule, which by the looks of it was already existing, for uh, IP version 6 and IP version 4 uh, for SSH to get in and out of the server. If I now enable the firewall by typing in UFW uh, enable, and we are happy to um, continue with this because it's not going to disrupt our session because we're allowing port 22, we can then type in UFW status and we can see that our rules are shown. We've actually got them duplicated here because I've just recreated them. Now to go ahead and delete a rule, you can type in, I'm just going to uh, switch the firewall off first because otherwise it's going to kill my connection, so USW uh, disable. And then to remove one, we can type UFW um, unique firewall um, delete allow SSH. So it's telling it to delete the allow of SSH. And that's updated. And then we need to do that again. And it should uh, delete the others. It's saying it's already done. So now if we um, get the, uh, the firewall back on, um, UFW enable, and that's fine. And we can do UFW status again. And uh, we can see that it's still allowing port 22. That's probably because previously it was set up with port rather than um, SSH. So if we go ahead and um, do UFW disable again, we can remove it by saying uh, UFW delete and then um, allow 22 TCP, which is the, the one that we previously set up. And then that should have deleted the rule. So if we enable this one more time, we can check it. And UFW status. We can now see we have none. We've got no allows and no denies, so all connections um, are sort of on default settings. Now, what we've seen there is also how we can add one by a, a port. So if I wish to add a port that I want to allow in, I can do UFW allow and then um, 2020 um, slash TCP. So it's allow all TCP connections on port 2020. And on the flip side of that, I could also do a deny. So I can do deny all access on port uh, 1234 TCP. Now if I go ahead and enable this with UFW enable and then uh, UFW status we can see that port 2020 uh, on IP version 4 and IP version 6 are allowed and port 1234 is denied. Um, I hope it's been useful for you. Um, it's very easy and simple to set up and it actually configures IP tables for you. Uh, I hope it's been useful. If you want more, please subscribe and like the video. Any comments, please below. And um, thanks.